Colorado Buffaloes travel to Corvallis to take on the Oregon State Beavers Saturday 1 p.m. on Pac-12 Networks. Look, it's been a tumultuous week for the Beavers players and staff as Gary Anderson and the university decided to part ways and now Corey Hall takes over as the interim head coach. The biggest thing he's got to do is get the Beavers out of their own way. Look, it's been administrative penalties that have really hurt this team from the time that Gary Anderson took over. It was a priority of his to end all those. The illegal substitutions, the offsides, all the things that have killed drives for them, if they can move past that and focus on the Buffaloes, it'll be huge. And in addition, can they get the ball to their Playmaker. Seth Collins was huge last week at USC. He's a guy that if you throw the ball up to him, he's more than a 50-50 player. He's a PT peer. He can make the deep ball. He can make little hitch throws and, and slants, turn into big plays for the Beavers. In addition, Isaiah Hodgins is also a threat, a young player who's an emerging star. And then Artavis Pierce, especially if Ryan Nall is not available. For the Buffaloes, they were absolutely embarrassed last week by Khalil Tate and 327 yards. The biggest thing is, will they take their frustration out on the Beavers, stop their run game, and force their offense to be one-dimensional and force Daryl Garrison to also beat them through the air. Also, look for Steven Montez, who is the number two overall quarterback in the Pac-12, if you take in consideration his running ability and his passing. Those multi-dimensional factors that he has, that he brings to the table, make him an absolute threat to any defense he faces, especially this weekend. Once again, Colorado at Oregon State, 1 p.m., Pac-12 Networks. Don't miss it.